Good morning, I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. It is Sunday morning, and I normally do a Sunday morning collective uh, read. Uh, throughout the week I do readings, but I don't post them. I'm not, it's not online or on camera. Usually, uh, before I do my uh, Sunday collective morning read, what I do is uh, pull some cards, usually in the bed, you know, just on my own to get an idea of what the collective energy is. Uh, but when I pulled cards this morning, I had to immediately jump on here. I'm going to do another reading a little bit later um, because the information that was coming out was so potent. It, it, it shocked me. It was shocking because I'm picking up on some energy of so, uh, a story that I've been following for some time now. And it's just got a little bit deeper and had a plot twist. And it was had to do with a Gemini energy, someone's sister, okay? Uh, and they were working with family members or someone close to them that uh, is a part of uh, some type of organization like Jack and Jill. And what they were doing were they were putting a hit out on their family member, which uh, the Gemini sister was putting a hit out on her sister who was a high priestess. They had hired people and paid people, uh, a spiritual practitioner to do, uh, to do death magic, uh, to kill her. And also the other family member or close person that they had a connection, uh, that had a connection in the government. Uh, they either worked for the NSA or uh, another uh, government agency wherein they had resources to do organized gang stalking to this person, you know, to bring down their defenses so the spell work would work. Now, and this was either a Capricorn, uh, Aries, you know, Sagittarius. These are people that have been coming out in the read over the past two weeks. Uh, there were, uh, was a Leo involved, you know, um, uh, that could have possibly lost someone. What they were doing with the organized gang stalking was they, uh, because the possibly the Capricorn or the person, the other member of the Jack and Jill organization has contacts in the government and they're able to gang stalk like across states. They have broad connections. Uh, they were hiring and contracting people uh, in the place where the targeted person was, which was this high priestess, uh, to gang stalk her, to give information on where she was, who she dating, uh, what she thinking, what's going on with her. And um, a disaster struck, something went wrong, and everyone ended up fighting. Someone ended, there, a death occurred. Uh, the uh, death spell that was intended for the high priestess was redirected and hit someone else that was in the group instead. So everybody is kind of scrambling. So the story continues to unfold. So I started to uh, pull cards uh, this morning, and the interesting monitoring spirit, the interesting thing that uh, came out was this Gemini was unsatisfied with the results. You know, this is the four of uh, cups reversed here. You know, uh, nothing was working, but, you know, um, it's kind of telling the story of what's going on here. The uh, five of swords, this Gemini wanted to win at all costs. So I feel like it's telling a backstory to other things that had occurred. Now, what just came out this morning that made me jump in here was a King of Pentacles reverse. And I believe the King of Pentacles reverse is the Gemini, uh, and they're reversed because this is someone that would do anything for money. And it came out that this person is a sociopath. But while I was pulling cards, what was coming out was, you know, their sociopath do to their upbringing. They were brought up by uh, religious figures. Uh, and you can see that in some of my past readings, it came out uh, where a situation, and I believe it is tied in, where this Gemini might have been possibly molested, you know, by a religious figure in their family, uh, possibly their father, because they came out as a king, a, a queen of wands, okay? And we know the king of queen of wands is someone that's inspirational, someone that a lot of people look up to, uh, someone that is attractive in a lot of people's eyes. You know, they're like a star quality, you know, but a uh, queen of wands or king of wands in the reverse uh, can be someone that either uh, uses sex or manipulation 
uh, to manipulate people or they could use the energy that they walk in, you know, to manipulate people. And that could apply uh, to uh, a minister or a preacher. A preacher can be a king of wands. You know, it can be an attractive person that a lot of women, you know, are, or, uh, or men are drawn to, that people find inspirational, you know, that they could also manipulate. This person uh, in the reading had molested this Gemini. So that's the religious figure. And this Gemini might have been raised around people that were in this energy, which contributed to them becoming a sociopath. Now, what came out this morning was wanting to win at all costs. I asked, what is the seven of swords reversed? Uh, what was it that they're not getting away with? And what came out was a uh, grandmother and then mother and then poison, you know? So it looks like there is a chance that whoever this Gemini is, they could have had a mother that passed away recently, but it might not have been of natural causes. The mother might have actually been poisoned, either directly or indirectly. And I'm gonna tell you how that is. What came out was drink and poison, okay? So something could have been put in this mother's water or drink to poison her. That's what came out in the cards. Now, when I interpreted this uh, about a month ago in one of my readings, uh, it came out that this Gemini's mother, uh, what came out in one of my readings, uh, one that I posted and one that I did in private, the mother uh, was the result of black magic going wrong. It was one of the death spells that were targeted at this uh, high priestess that failed. So instead of hitting the high priestess, that spell work, that death spell turned around and hit the mother who was already in a low vibration, okay? Remember, when you, have, when you send a death spell to somebody and it doesn't hit the intended target because they are spiritually protected, it's gonna come back around and hit the practitioner, the person that paid the practitioner, or someone in their circle. It could hit their children, their cousins, their aunties, uncles, someone else in the circle that's of a low vibration, okay? Or the spiritual practitioner if they have uh, connections uh, could put a hit on somebody or have someone put a hit on someone as a sacrifice, you know, so that energy will have somewhere to go and the sacrifice will have been made for the deity that they called on. So what I read before was that the death spell is the reason that the mother ended up dying before her time. The death spell was aimed at the, the high priestess, which is the sister of this Gemini, okay, that was walking in her calling that they're jealous of. But because it didn't hit her because she's spiritually protected, it killed the mother instead. But what's coming out now is that poison was put in her drink. So that could have been in her water or in something that she often drinks or uses in her home. So we possibly have a death. And I said, why? Why did... Uh, why would this Gemini kill her own mother? You know, if that's the, if it wasn't the death spell being redirected, why would this Gemini poison and kill her own mother? And then the sociopath card came out, the Knight of Wands card came out, and the Knight of Wands, the sociopath, and the spirit just gave it to me just now. They said that they knew that the death spell did not hit the high priestess, and they knew that the um, energy had to go somewhere. So they might have quickly... Uh, poison their mother as a sacrifice in its in her place. That's it right there. That's how it's connected. Thank you, spirit. Because I'm sitting here trying to figure out was it the death spell that killed her mother or was it the um, poison? And they just gave me it was because the death spell did not hit the high priestess that they were aiming for, which would have also been the daughter of the mother that passed away. She knew a sacrifice had to quickly be made. So the Knight of Wands came out. The Knight of Wands is someone rushing to do something quickly, with urgency, without thinking, without hesitation. So in fear that someone else would die from the death spell because it's boomeranging back, she quickly poisoned her mother and her mother passed away. Okay, which might have been elderly. 
And along with that uh, came out the Jack and Jill card. So there were two people involved in this. You know, it could have been uh, that other family member, possibly a Capricorn, okay, involved or Sagittarius, you know, that told her, we're going to have to make a sacrifice. It didn't hit the intended target is what they're saying. Okay, and I'm just going to pick up the reading from here. And as I said, why? Why would she uh, do that? And also, the star card came out here. The star card, Aquarius energy here, popped out. And also, the three of cups popped out. Okay? Now, clarifying the three of cups. Why would this Gemini uh, sacrifice her own mother? Clarify the star card coupled with the three of cups. We're going to continue the reading from here. Clarify the three of cups. They say... It came out again. What did I say? What did I say? The same cards just jumped out again right in front of your damn face. I am not making this shit up. She rushed in. She rushed in. This Gemini rushed in. This is the lover's card. The lover's the lovers represents Gemini energy, and the Knight of Wands is someone that takes very quick action without thinking, okay? Like fire signs often do. She did it because the death spell did not hit the intended target, and the mother was already elderly and in a low vibration. She got possibly... The call from the Capricorn, that's also in, a part of a Jack and Jill uh, group that has these connections in the government. Aries, Sagittarius, all was involved and was like, okay, y'all are going to, you're going to have to take out your mother or, or the death spell is going to hit someone else. So she poisoned her mother's cup. This is getting deep. Wow. Oh boy. Spirit, what was the Ace of Scepters? What's this new start? What's the Ace of Scepters? What's the Ace of Scepters? She wanted a new start because she was up in her head about losing possibly her finances or her, or stability. So remember in these past readings, if you have been following them, this Gemini was not only just attacking her sister, this high priestess, you know, out of jeal pure jealousy only, although jealousy was a huge uh, uh, motive in this, je jealousy and envy, it was also had to do with money. She might have sacrificed her sister for a huge amount of money. And they were supposed to had killed her sister by a certain date. And they thought it was a sure thing because of the gang stalking, because of the end. It was a lot of people that were in on this. I mean, a lot of people were in on this. The sister, this sister has a special divine calling on their life. That's why they're isolated from the world and family and everyone because these people are low vibrational. There was a Libra even involved. I did a reading yesterday where there's a Libra wanting to rush in. Right now there is a Libra that wanted to come toward this uh, uh, high priestess uh, to tell their side of the story. This Gemini is up in their head because 10 of pentacles reversed. They're worried about losing their stability because their large amount of money was on the table and involved in this. Uh, this high priestess uh, was supposed to be dead by now. And it was a sure thing. They agreed to work together, you know, and a lot of money was put up to put an end to this high priestess. But this high priestess is still alive. And she wanted a new start. She wanted a new start. She wanted to ensure her, her security, her finances for the future. This Gemini sounds like someone that's very codependent. <sighs> this is a mess. This is so messy. What is the uh, Queen of Swords Reverse? Now, the Queen of Swords Reverse could possibly be this Gemini. That's a narcissist. The sociopath 
card kept coming out. This is someone that's not transforming. They're not transforming because what's what was done to their mind at a very young age is very hard to undo. It could be past karma, uh, past regressions from a past life, why they're going through this at this point in their life. They might have karma to pay for like we all do. But they have they're not making the progress that they need to make. They as a as a part of this human condition is why they're a sociopath. They might have been molested by religious figures that are supposed to represent one thing, but they're actually a complete opposite, polar opposite other, which if, could have caused a personality split in this Gemini, in this Gemini woman here. You know, it could have caused a personality split in this person at a young age. And then the abuse on top of it, you know, could have produced results uh, such as MK Ultra type results. When people are fucking with your mind in a certain type of a way. So this person became a complete sociopath. Spirit, what else? Is there anything else that, have, that you want me to say? We got the Queen of Pentacles reversed here. Okay. Just like the King of Pentacles reversed up here. Clarify this. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Divine intervention. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Poison in reverse. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they're telling me was supposed to be upright. And they're showing me, they're showing me this beetle right here. If you can see it. You see this beetle right here? The Egyptian beetle represents rebirth it represents rebirth and transformation okay and because wherever they would find death or something that was dying they would always it would always be a lot of these particular beetles so that's why in egyptian culture the beetle represents rebirth okay regeneration so there was some type of divine intervention and i believe it was the spiritual protection of this prosperous uh, of this prosperous person here, you know, why it did not happen. This person did not want the star, okay? This person is the star, okay? And they did not want them to have, uh, uh, to prosper financially, spiritually, in love, in anything in their life. We got poison in, in, in reverse because of divine intervention. And that poison could represent spell work or it could actually represent trying to poison this uh, Queen of Cups. Now, when I, I'm sorry, Queen of Pentacles, that's the star, okay? Now, remember, if it's actual poison, remember when someone is being gang stalked, okay, in a community because there is a, a number on their head, you know, a death on their head, and people are trying to take them out, and it's through organized gang stalking, they're using multiple tactics. They're doing this through spell work. They're doing this through energy weapons. They're also using the technologies that they have and the access to resources. That means they're using food delivery services uh, such as Uber, uh, Uber Eats, Lyft, uh, you know, any type of food delivery service that is computerized where you have to use your phone because remember, you know, it's someone in the reading that is a part of a government agency, possibly the NSA, that has access you know, to your phone, your GPS, anywhere that you go, you know, anything that you do, they can hear you through your phone. They can see when you order food. So what they would do is let every place that you eat from within uh, your community that you go to on a regular basis, because it's easy to read you like bookwork, you know, to let those people that make you always have a point of contact or a person in those food places know. So if you're coming there, you know, they can place a quick phone call and they can put something in your food. Or if you're having food deliver, they got their own people on standby that work for these food delivery services that will pick up the call. It will, your phone would be redirected when you're calling for services of any kind to one of their agents that work within that uh, infrastructure, okay? And the person that's going to pick up your food would put something in your food or your drink. Okay, that's how this gang organized gang stalking thing works. You have to be very careful 
to uh, pick your own food, to cook your own food, you know, if you are a targeted individual and someone is trying to take you out. So it could have been spell work or actually trying to poison uh, this star who is prosperous, queen of pentacles. It was divine intervention that they were protected. Even if you did poison their food, they're vibrating too high for any poison to ever touch them. Even when Malcolm X went overseas to Egypt, they put poison in his food to try to take him out, and it couldn't because of the vibration that he was on. They were targeting Malcolm because he was of a high vibration. There were people that were jealous of Malcolm X from his past because they said, no, I know that nigga from back in the day when he used to run women. I know when he used to run numbers. I know when he was out here killing and poisoning and fighting and just ripping and running the streets. I know him when he was out here pimping. You know, he is not a good person. He is not this, that, and the other. This is who they are. And I'm jealous of that brother. Although Malcolm had been sat down through a tower moment to go through a death and transformation. Malcolm was sat down, went through a death and transformation, and came out white as snow. Because he was a star in the making. And somebody felt like he was supposed to stay in the low vibration he was in. But that was him dealing with his shadow self. Which is what all high priestess, emperors, and empresses of a high calling do. You do go through a point in your life when you're low vibrational. When you have low vibrational experiences and take low vibrational thoughts and actions. But it does not mean that you will stay in that energy for the rest of your life. And people that knew you when you were going through that transformation, you know, they feel like you're supposed to be that person for the rest of your life. And they become jealous when you go through a transformation. And they don't want to see you grow. And when you do grow past it and you walk in your divine purpose and calling as a star, they, they, don't want, they want to stop it. And they want to try to blackmail you based on the purpose that, based on the person that you were prior to your transformation and try to use that information to steer and turn people against you so that they can destroy you because these people are possessed by low vibrational entities that see the light in you and knew you had a calling. What else of this Queen of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? We got the Queen of Cups reversed here. Okay. What of this Queen of Cups reversed, Spirit? See, the Queen of Cups reverse. that's the sister. See, that's that, that's that Gemini sister right there. But I'll clarify. It's a Gemini sister. And what came out in the past was this person had a lot of cancer in their chart. They might be a Gemini cancer cusper. This person did this because they wanted to, they were trying to hold on to their stability. They were trying to hold on to generational wealth that they were trying to create for themselves. Because uh, the motto of the lower vibrational Gemini is money is in everything. Money is the only thing. Okay, money is not the only thing. Money is a form of energy. Uh, there was a time when we did not have cash and money. So the energy was actually, you know, the food that you can grow, uh, the land that you have, the cattle and livestock that you had, energy. It was the people, the healthy people in your family, the healthy things. I did a reading some time ago uh, called um, uh, Gemini. Uh, you're about to find out that money is not the only thing you know, uh, that brings happiness in this life, okay? It's just one form of energy, but there was a time we didn't have money. So there are other things that are around you in your environment, you know, that, that weigh heavily, like having healthy relationships with your, uh, uh, with your friends and family, having a healthy mind, having healthy children, you know, uh, living in a healthy community, you know, having love. Love is actually the only thing. Love is the only thing, believe it or not. Yes, I don't mean it in a mundane sense. Uh, love is not going to put food on the table. I don't mean it in that sense. I'm trying to tell you love is the highest form of energy that is powering this universe. Okay? I'm trying to tell you that the vibration of love 
is a thing that can transform you from any mental illness that you have if you're a sociopath because of things that were done to you and conditions that you were placed under as a child that you were unable to overcome if you have enough love to stimulate that heart chakra to open yourself up to healing you can raise your vibration in this lifetime and overcome that bad karma that you're paying for from former lifetimes and raise yourself up if you would just go inside and focus internally instead of focusing your energy externally on what you see in other people that you don't have. Go ahead, Holy Spirit, on this Queen of Cups reverse. They're wounded. Nine of Wands. This person is extremely wounded right now. They're, yeah, there it is. Yes. The High Priestess reverse. They are very wounded right now. They're wounded right now. Because of the, there, let me put these out here. See, this is the high priestess, reverse, because she was doing magic. She was doing spell work. And it came out before that this person was becoming sick from it, okay? Uh, unfortunately, and, and, and I, don't mean, I, I don't mean to trigger or hurt anybody, but in my past reading, it came out that this person might even have cancer. Listen, low vibrational spell work, and spell work is nothing but prayers. It, it's intentions that are spoken out. You know, spell work can be a positive prayer. I want Sister Johnson to be fully healed. You know, that's spell work. That's something that you are speaking out into the universe and you are putting your energy behind it because that is the intention that you're putting out and you want Sister Johnson, you want her to be healed and you want her to be whole, okay? But you can also speak out low vibrational uh, spell work to try to hurt somebody as well and that is toxic and when that toxic energy uh doesn't go to the directed target it comes back and it poisons you especially when you've been doing it over and over and over again and you've been warned time after time after time to stop this stop this you are going to kill yourself stop it and when you're dealing with a Knight of Wands energy, they, they don't want to hear nothing you have to say. When you're dealing with a Knight of Wands energy, they don't want to hear anything that you have to say. That Knight of Wands energy is, is, doesn't want to think. They want to think that you're just talking shit and you're trying to scare them and they're just going to keep on like a bull rushing straight into the fire. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Why is this person wounded? They're saying they're being blackmailed. So this Gemini is saying that they were blackmailed. So what possibly could have happened is when this thing first started, they were in a low vibration because they had a spirit of jealousy and envy. And that spirit of jealousy and envy opened the door to allowing other negative influences to influence them to collaborate. So if this high priestess was already a target of someone in the government that's really working for the spiritual government, <laughs> that's really working uh, uh, for entities on the other side that are looking for bodies to host, okay, low, to keep people in a low vibration so that they can uh, uh, live out this shit through human bodies, if you understand me, you know, they found an opening with this Gemini when they were in a low vibration, okay? And this Gemini could have collaborated with them. And when this Gemini realized that they had gone too far and wanted to back out, it was too late because they might have already done some things in a haste in that Knight of Wands energy. They might have already caused some destruction. They might have already committed some things that are illegal that would land them in jail. And they probably already knew that. So with that knowledge, they knew from this point on, I have to continue now. Now I have to continue with this. I don't get to walk away from, I don't get to just do a little bit of bullshit to the sister I'm jealous of and walk away. I'm in too deep, like the movie. They know too much of what I've done. I got my hands dirty. I got blood on my hands already. I already did things illegally with paperwork, you know, to try to get this high priestess caught up in the law. So now when I try to walk away, they're going to be like, uh-uh, honey, come on back here. You involved in this shit too. So anything else, any other thing that we want to execute against this targeted person who is your sister, you have to participate now. 
you give us your full participation or we are going to use and abuse the resources that we have to lock your ass away and to expose you. So this Gemini is saying that now they're wounded because they were blackmailed into continuing the bullshit that they started and rushed into. Clarify. This Gemini could also be wounded because of a father figure. Okay. Possibly the molestation I was telling you about before. Uh, that was coming out as religious figure. They could be having transportation issues. What's this nine of wands? Clarify why they're wounded. Narcissist. Yeah, father. Yeah, father, father came out along with narcissist along with my baby seventh grade and kindergarten six. So this is damage. This is damage that happened to them. They became uh, this sociopath with the personality disorder uh, due to being heavily influenced under the energy of possibly their father and mother and the damage that these religious figures did to them in their childhood, okay? So this person is wounded. Most likely they need to talk to a therapist uh, but it might be talking to a therapist from behind bars because they went too far. They should see they should have been talking to a therapist and getting help early on instead of waiting instead of waiting until they took all kinds of actions to dig a hole for themselves to make a bed for themselves that later on they would have to lay in. You know, this person is wounded from their upbringing. Their parents might have been narcissists and sociopaths due to things that they went through. This feels like generational curse energy here to me. A generational curse that possibly uh, the high priestess in their family might have been coming to heal in their bloodline. Like Jesus, uh, according to the Bible, was supposed to heal uh, the transgression of David in the family bloodline. The sword would never leave his, that family generational curse, the sword would never uh, leave their house, said the prophet Uriah to David, because he uh, set, he didn't even kill the man himself. He set another man to be, he set another man up to be killed because he wanted his one little wife and David had many women. It was just out of being greedy and selfish and wanting to win at all costs. And Jesus, later on, generations later, came to clear the bloodline. This ascended master came to go through many things so that he could pay for the past karma of his bloodline and clear it out. This high priestess possibly could have been there to clear out uh, the, distort, the, the dis distortion of the masculine energy in their bloodline. The distortion of sexual energy in the bloodline and bring back the female high priestesses, uh, the high priestesses, uh, regime wherein energy is properly managed where the masculine energies have discipline instead of being undisciplined and using their chi and life force energy to use and to abuse the feminine energy these people that abused these people that abused uh, this Gemini in their childhood and gave them these emotional wounds, uh, whoever her, her parents are probably came together to clear some past karma with each other, believe it or not, from past life regressions where the life force energy in the masculines and the family were distorted, you know, and used in an improper way against the feminine energies. And they wanted discipline to be brought back and balance to be brought back where women are not being abused, sexually abused, and raped, but men are actually uh, going through some type of training that they did back in the day, you know, and some type of a discipline where they know self-control, where they understood, you know, to teach their sons at a young age how to think and how to direct that chi, that life force energy, which is also your sexual energy, how to raise it up out the root chakra and raise it through their heart through their crown chakra and to use that energy in other ways. This was part of the priesthood, okay? Having discipline and structure and having your mind be able to focus and think a certain type of a way as a masculine energy 
and to be trained and disciplined. That was lost. That was lost thousands of years ago. But that one time we had that type of discipline, believe it or not, because we were a much higher society especially those of us uh, like Jesus that went through uh, the, the priesthood schools, okay? They were taught how to have discipline. They were taught uh, to have self-control over their sexual energy instead of keeping it in that root chakra and rushing in like the Knight of Wands to uh, use and abuse. They, they knew how to direct their thoughts in a higher vibrational way and to only use that sexual energy when it was appropriate. They wanted me to say that. Okay, Holy Spirit. So just to give you a little background on uh, this sociopath and what created them. Spirit, is there anything else you wanted to come out in what this was supposed to be a very short reading? Look at that. Sh I don't make this stuff up, okay? This Gemini, this is uh, it's popping out again for the third time. This is uh, a set and a sir in the commission tarot card deck okay this is the Gemini card okay go ahead spirit what else did you want to say about that Gemini yeah this Gemini is in great sadness right now this is the five of cups those of you that read tarot know exactly what this is okay this Gemini now is in great sadness and despair over the actions that they took I mean it's like laugh now, cry later. And I can hear, I can hear, I can spiritually, I can literally hear this Gemini in the back of my head right now laughing when they were carrying out these transgressions, uh, when they were attacking this high priestess, when they were watching, you know, the results of their spell work uh, tear down this high priestess life and all the pitfalls that this high priestess was going through as a result of this Gemini. You know, I can hear the laughter, ha, 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 you know, all that wicked laughter, and now they're crying. Now they're crying. Now it's heaviness of spirit and heaviness of heart. This body, that this Gemini's whole emotional body is frozen and locked up in pain, physically and emotionally. Because now they're crying. Because they're thinking about why they took the actions that they took. Yes, spirit. They're thinking, why? Why did I uh, lack structure and discipline? Why did I lack the structure and discipline I needed in my mind? You know, because these are people, these are sword people. Air signs are sword people. They're in their head. Anything else, spirit? Ooh. Almost hit me in the eye with this one. This is the Eight of Cups. This, uh, they want to walk away from this now. They want to walk away from, from the sadness that they're feeling. They just want to get away. They want to escape. Oh, God, I hope it's not. Mm, no. What else? Clarify that Eight of Cups. They're probably going through physical and emotional pain. Because if this person is going through some type of an illness right now as a result of poisoning themselves from the spell work that they did, their body is physically ill. Their emotional body and physical body is ill. It's sick. They could have, a, they, they, they could have cancer right now, possibly, or any other illness. And in addition to that, the unease, easiness, their muscles are all distorted in their body. They're not getting a lot of rest. And the reason is because they're stressed out. You know, how you are thinking and how your mind is operating directly affects, it directly affects your uh, uh, physical body. You know, when you're thinking of certain thoughts, different muscles in your neck and back tighten up. If you're sensitive and in tune with your body enough to feel it, you know, when you think of an unpleasant thought, do a scan of your body. Do like an emotional scan of your body and see what muscles are tight. And when you release that thought from your head, pay attention to what muscles in your neck and back also release and open back up. The reason is it's directly connected. How you're thinking is directly connected to uh, uh, your physical body, 
okay, and your aches and pains. Sometimes a headache that you might have, you know, or a backache or a neck pain is directly connected to something that is stressing you out uh, from your past, issues that you have from your past. Clarify the Eight of Cups. They want to walk away from this. Clarify that Eight of Cups, Spirit. Clarify that Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they want to walk away from everything they did. They worked with people in these organizations. Like It could have been uh, someone that's a part of a group like the Masons, you know, and other organizations they worked with to sabotage this high priestess relationship. They want to walk away from everything that they did now. They don't want it to be exposed. They're worried about how much this high priestess could possibly know about what was what was done and what they have done. They're worried about legal issues. They're worried about jail. They didn't expect all this. They really, they really expected a, a clean death. You know? Through all of the misbehavior, you know, this is the uh, King of Wands reverse. This is someone that has manipulated and used uh, people's belief and faith in them. You know, people uh, that uh, are attracted to not only their physical body, but people might have been attracted to this person's energy as an inspirational person, okay? Remember, like I said, the Hierophant is not the only one that can be a spiritual figure. The king or queen of wands can also be a religious figure that a lot of, that captivate a lot of people, you know, because they're attractive, they're charismatic, you know, they seem to capture, you know, the emotions of people. These people now, their lifestyles are getting ready to change and go down. The way that they were living, they're about to, they're about to lose a lot of money. Nine of Pentacles reverse, uh, King of Wands reverse. Or this, or that's this Gemini. This Gemini, remember I said, what is she afraid of losing? It was the Ten of, uh, Ten of Pentacles reverse. She, she wanted to win at all costs. She was worried about losing her stability. Did the death threat, uh, I'm sorry, did a death spell on her sister. And then because it didn't work, she had to sacrifice her own mother and possibly poison her own mother. I hope this isn't the same thing that happened with her father as well. And it looks like possibly we have a knight of swords uh, wanting to rush in. This could be uh, an emperor. Who's this emperor spirit? Who's this emperor? That's Aries energy. Or she could have also rushed in and had something done to an Aries, you know, when the uh, death spell, because remember they did numerous death spells over and over and over again. So this, uh, the mother might not be the only person that they might have sacrificed. They could have called in hits on other people that were involved, family members uh, that they were close to or knew or worked for or under them or were connected to the gang stalking. The Three of Swords reversed. Oh. This could even be one of the spiritual practitioners uh, that might have gone through a transformation as well because the Three of Swords can represent someone that has healed from something. Someone that uh, might have been uh, a spiritual practitioner in a low vibration, but this whole uh, experience possibly could have uh, brought a tower moment to someone here, this is Aries energy, or an emperor, okay? And put them on their path to recovery. Put them on their path to paying for their karma, but at least getting on the right path to walking in whatever their calling is, because this person could also be spiritually protected, possibly. I'll see if I have a confirmation from spirit. Okay, what's that? Yeah. This is someone that you know from your past, possibly uh, an Aries or any other sign, maybe an air sign even, uh, that wants to get on their spiritual path now. You know, someone that has healed. They were in the same energy as well, doing these low vibrational things, and they might have been do working with other people's three of pentacles reversed. 
they might have been working with these people as a spiritual practitioner possibly you know and maybe they want to come forward with the truth now uh, and the reason they were working with these people uh, were because they had childhood trauma as well that might have put them uh, with the personality disorder as well it's so many people that are walking around you know with a whole hole in their heart that needs to be mended and healed you know that's all I'm getting now that's all I'm getting yeah so this was actually supposed to be a five minute message but you know the spirit wanted more to come out they're in hermit mode uh, just waiting to see uh, this person could be trying to possibly manifest someone back maybe the high priestess that they targeted they're in hermit mode right now trying to manifest them back into their life that's why we have the three of wands here and this is uh, the Virgo energy this is uh, the hermit card reverse the hermit is reversed because I have a feeling that this Emperor although this is putting them on their right path that might have been involved in this uh, they I have a feeling that they have not completely processed the situation correctly you know so they could be in hermit mode but they're not processing the situation correctly because I feel like they might be doing uh, spell work but they're doing spell work to try to manifest the high priestess that they at one time was attacking you know for money be careful of having people around you high priestess out there that will do anything for money okay I'm gonna end with this so uh, this uh, possibly an Aries or another uh, older gentleman that may have been a spiritual practitioner they're trying to manifest uh, this high priestess that might have been the trigger in their life to make them want to change their life um, and go the other direction uh, they're trying to manifest them back in their life the three of wands they're waiting to see after the spell work but what that they did but the reason they the hermit reversed is because that is not how you manifest someone back into your life you know and they're not learning it you don't try to uh, override a person's free will anybody that practices divination of a high vibration knows that and I always tell my daughter don't ever don't you ever ever participate in any type of ritual work spell work don't even think of trying to manipulate the free will of another human being we all are born here with free will to make the decisions uh, for ourselves. don't ever try to manifest someone into your life you know people have free will it will fail or become a disaster every single time if a person wants you they have to want you completely of and come towards you of their own free will possibly you can become what you want to what, what you want you can become a higher vibrational person by working on yourself and you might magnetize or attract that person back into your life but you cannot do manipulation and spell work to force someone back into your life okay that goes against the rules okay but y'all are hard-headed out here so like I said this was supposed to be just a five-minute message yeah I know uh, this came up stuck to my elbow really quick the five of wands so a lot of these people are in conflict right now because uh, they're worried about the truth coming out now a lot of things have taken place um, this reading went a lot longer than I expected it to but um, hopefully it brings some clarity and insight to someone that was looking for it I am Kuan Yin and this is I have no cut cards tarot